Acts 2 verse 12 And they all continued in amazement and great perplexity, saying to one another, What does this mean? When the disciples came together in one place, they were all in the same heart and mind to spread the gospel and teach others the good news. This happened during the Feast of Pentecost or Feast of Weeks or Harvest. It was celebrated on the 50th day after Passover. The Pentecost feast, for the Jewish people, was like a Thanksgiving Day holiday, calling it a Feast of the Harvest or First Fruits. The Apostles of Christ had the perfect opportunity to preach and witness, many of the Jewish and believers of the Lord, that the Messiah had come. When the Holy Spirit saw they were all on one accord and ready to do the Lord's work, He gave them holy fire to consume the hearts of many. Why fire, one might ask, nothing spreads fast the fire, especially land is dry during a harvest. The spirits of the believers of the Lord were parched. They waited a long time for the Messiah to come. Many who went to the Feast of Pentecost came all over the world. Some may not have heard of Jesus Christ, and maybe some have. The apostles of Christ were very excited to share the good news gospel. The crowd at the Pentecost feast saw their excitement and was curious about their excitement. Are they drunk or intoxicated? They asked. If you ever noticed, that place of business that sells alcoholic beverages will advertise they sell spirits. Ephesians 5 verse 17 Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. 18 And do not get drunk with wine, in which there is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. 19 Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody with your hearts to the Lord. 20 Always giving thanks for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to our God and Father. 21 And subject yourselves to one another in the fear of Christ. If any reasonable, sensible person reading Acts chapter 2 would see most of the language spoken at the Feast of Pentecost was known languages of the people attending the festival. There were no languages that only angels could understand. I have been to so-called Pentecostal services, and someone will stand up and say things that no one in the congregation can understand. This kind of confusion did not happen in Acts chapter 2. The Acts of the Apostles is an inspiring book of the Holy Bible. The Holy Spirit moves the Apostles of the Lord to grow the Church of Christ like a wildfire. The disciples of the book of Acts started in chapter 1, wondering how they cope without Jesus with them. But in Acts chapter 2 the Spirit of the Lord, Himself shows them they would do just fine if not better. Dear brothers and sisters, your spiritual walk with the Lord will grow if you share the gospel. Share it like a gasoline fire. If you are a child of Jesus Christ, His holy fire is living inside you, so go share the Holy Ghost fire that is on your tongue and heart. God bless you, the Lord Jesus loves you, and so do I. Samuel Head, a bondservant of the Lord. Acts 2 verses 1 to 7 Tongues of Fire Acts 2 verses 1 to 7 1 When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. 2 And suddenly there came from heaven a noise like a violent rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. 3 And there appeared to them tongues as of fire distributing themselves, and they rested on each one of them. 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit was giving them utterance. Point 5 Now there were Jews living in Jerusalem, devout men from every nation under heaven. 6 And when this sound occurred, the crowd came together, and were bewildered because each 